Hey, what is going on guys? Rudelanel here, come back at you with another batch tutorial. Alright, I'm gonna get the Windows command line ready along with Notepad++, and cause you know, I'm a little excited. Today, I think we are finally done with the friggin' for loop. <laughs> uh, you know, I think. I could be wrong, and if I am wrong, I'll be very angry. But that's okay, because I want to teach you guys, and I want you guys to learn, and that all that good stuff. <laughs> but... We are going to be checking out the for loop one last time, and we're going to be looking at one of my favorite things to do in the for loop. I'm just kidding. In fact, I don't really do this too often, but it is a, it's a good way to say goodbye to the for loop for now. <laughs> this is the idea of breaking out of a loop if a variable is a certain value, and that sort of thing. Uh, normally in other languages, there'd be like a break um, keyword, and you know, there actually is a break keyword in batch but it doesn't really do what we would expect to do. So, we'll actually create ourselves, like, a, a, a label that will take us out of the loop when we actually need to. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and create a new script. I'll scroll down. Type this crap out. Echo off. Set local. Uh, enable delayed expansiones, baby. <laughs> And then go to the main function, create the main function, set local, and local. You know, batch. most batch programmers out there in the world probably don't put this much effort to make sure their batch scripts are actually, like, protected and good stuff. Like, we don't need a set local or anything like this. It's only a good programming practice, or at least so we're used to that sort of environment. So, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, anyway, let's just, just create our for loop. Let's do four, and I'm going to use dash L so we can get integers, and uh, going through numbers and that sort of thing, and I'll use G and a set of, and we want to go from one with a step of one to ten. We'll do, and then we'll just go ahead and echo out the value. Echo out, a, oh, I should say echo, not echo op. And then we can run our script... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, now let's do a test. Let's do if we don't actually need this parentheses. That's just me being a goofball. If g is equal to, like, let's say 5, we can create a new thing here, and we can just go ahead and jump out of here to loop end. Now, loop end is a label that we're going to have to create. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create this one right here, loop end. And now we can say, like, echo, and then... End of loop. And then we're ready to go. We're all done. Script. One, two, three, four. It breaks out of it and says end of loop. And we can get this exclamation point in here with those little um carrot symbols. And there you go. We are all set. Really, that's all there is. Loops are pretty easy to break out of because all you really need is that label or just a, a break command and anything else. But it's pretty simple to easy and easy to understand. You can test whether or not you do want to break out of it and that sort of thing. Uh, obviously, if you did not have this in a condition, though, it would just go straight to it, and it's not even looping whatsoever, so you do kind of have to be careful with this idea and that sort of thing, but I'm sure you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, thanks again, though, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video.